Welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial. Today we're going to be dealing with uh, creating some dominoes. Um, I made an animation a while ago about uh, just involving some dominoes, and I thought I had to script it, uh, but one of the people on Google Plus actually pointed out that uh, the script that I created is actually already in Blender. So uh, let's get started. Uh, this will be probably the fastest tutorial ever. So uh, yeah, I looked on YouTube for a couple of these, and they didn't really seem to really cover or be very useful. So. Like I said, this one will be pretty darn fast. Um, so we scale it down to make our basic shape and GZ1. Uh, this might help. Uh, so you scale on the z-axis there. And then move it up one, so we're there. And then uh, we add, ah, that's all we have to do with that, right? So it's a domino. Uh, you could put things in there and stuff like that, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. Uh, or ever, so deal with that. Um, and then we add a curve. I prefer a path, go into edit mode, move it sort of where it would be, again, just so it makes a little more sense. And then on our uh, little box there, we had two modifiers. We need a curve modifier and we need an array modifier. The array modifier needs to be above the curve modifier. All right, and then we fix it to the curve, and the curve object is going to be the nerves path. And you'll see it like that. And we just need to bump this up just a little bit so it looks like a uh, a little bit better dominance, okay? And then we add the curve oh, here. All right, so obviously you saw that little shift, but didn't do a whole lot. But if we go into edit move on the curve and start extruding these out, you'll see that we are creating our uh, our dominance. So this way, and this way, we'll come back around here. And all right. In my animation, I just spelled out Blender in this. Fashion. All right, uh, and then we need to add in a ground plane. Scale that up. All right, so we go. Kind of started there. All right, so then we apply each of these um, together. So then we have our uh, our mesh with a whole bunch of stuff in them. All right, uh, let's get rid of this curve since we don't need that anymore. All right, but in edit mode on these things, you can hit P and separate by the loose parts. And what that will do is that will create each of these objects, each of these vertices as a separate object. And then we tab out, and so we have all these little guys here. Okay. Now another important thing that is, or the most important thing, is that we also need to reset the geometry on all of these because if we were to add rigid bodies in here and knock them all over, um, since their origin point is here, that's where the bounding box is going to be calculated from. So all of these have the exact same origin. So all you have to do there is um, select all the objects and not the light, and do the control alt c and then do the we want to move the origin to the geometry and you can see all the little dots that just went around there awesome so then we can then control r we'll add a rigid body type to there and then we will change it to active and all that stuff's good actually we don't actually need to change anything so again we'll select all these things uh, sans the lamp and uh, copy from active. So down here under rigid body tools, you have copy from active and that will make them all green and we can see just by spot checking that all that stuff is correct. And then we need to add our ground plane so they actually have something to run into, a rigid body passive. All right, so now if we uh, play this animation, again, obviously not gonna do anything because uh, we haven't started pushing them over. So a very simple way to go about doing that is to take this original, or take one of the ends and um, uh, shift S and send the cursor to the selected and then tab out and hit period and then we'll be rotating on that local part there and rotate uh, on rotate Y and put it right there alright and so then when we do this uh, all we have to do is hit A and it knocks them over and there it goes so yep that's uh, that's how you make dominance a blender <laughs> It is super easy uh, with that other piece there. And uh, if uh, this animation is taking a long time, you can uh, bounce this up a little bit and then go into the, um, the scene data. And then you also have to increase the rigid body cache length. So by updating that, you'll actually get the whole way around here. So yeah, uh, pretty cool.